All right, we're going to talk about uh, customizing our forms. So why would we want to customize our forms? Um, to, in this video, we're going to talk about the basics of customizing our purchase orders. Uh, so why would we want to do this? So a couple reasons. First of all, make it your own. Make sure your branding and your coloring schemes are continuing, right, with any kind of external communications. Uh, you also may want to make it look less QuickBooks-ish, as you've heard in other videos here. Um, so <clears throat> you can really recognize some QuickBooks forms sometimes. So this is a way to, again, just make it your own. So we did uh, have some videos on invoice, uh, basic, additional, and layout designer customization. But I wanted to include purchase orders because purchasing has um, different fields right available than obviously the receivable side. So we're going to go through kind of the same information, just a little faster. All right, so how do I get to my purchase order customization. So we have to list and we go down to templates. Um, actually I should mention first if you don't see purchase orders on your screen here you're not going to be able to edit the purchase order template because you don't have them enabled. So you want to go into edit and preferences, um, go to our desktop view and then company preferences and then uh, on inventory, it doesn't say purchase orders, but on inventory, you have to select that little box that says inventory and purchase orders are active. Okay. All right, so again, if you don't see it on this home screen here, you gotta go enable it first. Okay, so templates. <clears throat> so we come in here, we have a standard template, custom purchase order. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, duplicate. So down here, I'm gonna go to templates and say duplicate this purchase order because it gives me a good starting place, right? Some fields that are maybe standard. So it creates a copy of. So I'm gonna go ahead in the, cop in the copy of and edit the template. The first thing I wanna do is rename it. <clears throat> so I wanna go to manage templates and I'm gonna call it a four lane PO. Okay. All right. And then it takes me back to my basic customization here. So if I wanted to use a logo, I can check this use logo box. Right? And then I navigate using Windows navigation, right? To uh, find my logo. So I can add that in there. And then when we get to the layout designer, I'll show you how to make that bigger. Um, if I ever need to change the logo, I can come in and to the basic customization and change the logo. I can change my color scheme. Right again, changes the outside colors on the lines there. I can change my fonts here. Right, so for company name, which is the name up there, I can go in and change the font, make it larger. Right, so it made that four lane larger there. Um, so for some different fields there. Uh, in, the in the layout designer area, I'll show you how to customize it a lot better. Down here I can add additional information, so company phone number, email address, fax number, etc. Those will be pulling from your company setup area. If you need to update the information, you can do so here. So it's pulling from your company information area. If you did not want it to pull from the company information area here, again, watch the layout designer video. I'll show you how to add just text fields. Okay. We can also add the print status stamp, so pending, received, etc. across the top here. And then of course on all of our customization it's going to give our little preview on the side. So one thing you also want to do, um, as long as the template is active on this template list, it will show up, right, when I go to my purchase orders and I have my templates here, it will show up as a template drop down here. So if you're not going to use, right, we're only going to use one template, the four lane one, you want to make sure on your templates list that you have right clicked um, and edited any template or you can just right click and make the template inactive so that way it doesn't show up on the list right so now when I come in here to look at my POs only one shows up on the list okay